do you a pet Westie head. It's just a short, typical pet dog. Um, I'm just gonna, I've done the body and it literally is a short all off. Um, this dog's called Alfie. He's a little cairn. Um, he's, he's a little bit um, curvaceous as we can see. Um, so basically my first um, thing to do is come around in a nice neat line all the way around. Um, if this line is a little bit wonky, then obviously your head is going to go a little bit wonky. So make sure you've got a nice clean line and that line continues all the way around. It really is lines if I was to strangle him. With round heads, they always have an upside down area there which I call the jaw junction. You want to leave the fringe around the outside, but it's literally an upside down little V. And I normally, if I'm coming around the body, I'll come round, following the way the coat grows, and I can feel the back of the ear there. And as I come around here, I just reverse up and take it out in there. That's it's nice and neat. Now when you do that, it actually allows them to have a little bit more neckline. If you leave too much hair there, it makes them look really stuffy. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I know, you sweet little boy. So again, when I've dried his head, we've made sure we've dried everything forward. It's no good drying it back when you want a fringe because you're just not gonna get a nice fringe. And remember, when you're drying, you want everything 100% dry, 100% straight, and 100% not straight. Okay, so this is what my first um, number one area that I would trim. I'm going to trim between these eyes. I'm using a pair of curved, we'll call them texturizers, they're not quite thinners and they're not chunkers. So I'm just gonna come up and take that little bit of hair away in front of his eye. And I hold him just under his chin, that little bit of hair. Always, always have contact with your second hand. Again, come up again. Use your comb, bring it out. And we don't wanna leave anything there that's gonna rub into his eye. Now we know if this dog was a working dog, we'd want to leave some hair there um, to protect him from the wind and to protect him from digging in the mud. Always try and come up because we know it's safest to go away from his eye. If you can't quite get that, go down, but obviously just be very careful. So what I've created here now, um, I haven't come down the bridge of his nose, literally just in front of his eye, and I've done a soft fan shape. I definitely haven't come up into the stop area. Now you can use a little pair of straight scissors like this, but when you do the straight line here and the straight line here, sometimes it leaves a really straight line and you can really see it and it doesn't look natural. So I like blenders or something like that because it's a softer look. Okay, once I've done that, my second area that I trim is above his eyes. So if I bring all this area out, I'm looking to create a soft C. When you look over the top of him, a soft C. So I could use these. So these have got the shape into them and I'll come to the outside corner of his eye. I don't want to go really, really tight here. And I'll come across, and I'll come to the other outside corner of the eye. And remember from over the top, I'm creating a soft C. And this is a really short little blended head because we know his body is really short. So it's pointless leaving loads of hair on the top of his head. And if you look from the side, it literally angles out like a, the front on a cap. Okay, my next area that I do, I chop everything down, drop it all down, and I hold him here, just literally on his nose and on his lip. Get your tongue in. Yeah. And so now I have clear view of everywhere. I look underneath my hand and I'm looking down. And I'm trying to shut his mouth. I purposely don't want to hold him around the jawline because first of all, it will distort everything that I've just um, brushed out. Alfie, stop. And my line that I want to create is under the jaw and it will come down to the outside corner of the eye. And from there, it will come up to the ear. Now this particular dog has got standing up ears. If I hold it up, I'm creating a circle. Now I purposely use curved scissors. Now when I get to his ear, what I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna put my clippers on a number 10. I'm going to clip out the top third of his ear leather. So I'm rubbing that against my finger. I'm going to do the inside and the outside. It's just a nice clean line across the top. And while I'm here, I might as well do the other one. So top third of his ear. Take it up your finger and the inside. 
Now, actually, with my little scissors, I'm just going to pull out them tufts of hair, come towards the tip of his ear, turn his ear, come towards the tip of his ear. Now, it's safer to put your nail over that ear leather because you're never going to catch his ear by doing that. Pull out the hair, now over the ear leather, and use the tip of your scissors. Always remember, if you're looking at the tip of his scissors, you don't want to use the entire scissor because you will catch his ear. So just use the tip and bend your hand out slightly and just the tip. Bring out the other side. You're always gonna scissor towards the tip of the ear. It's the safest way. Then where I cut across, I'm gonna brush the hair out and that line, I'm gonna come across and just correct that line all the way through. You can see that. Same on the other side. Alfie, put your head round. Good boy. All the way across. Again, this side. All the way across on this side. Again, just be very careful you don't catch his ear. Once I've done that, I'm going to fold the ear in half and drop everything down. You can see how I use my hand. I'm actually putting it against the side of his head. And where I started my circle, I want to continue that circle up to that area, which is right there at the base of that tip. And if you can see by holding it like that, I'm actually getting the hair on the back and the front of his ear. And there's my circle. Drop it back down again, good lad. And just come around and correct it. Okay, you can do the other side. And how I make sure I've got exactly the same line can hold him on his nose and his chin, so I'm not distorting any hair. And under my hand, I'm looking at this line. And I'm gonna put a little marker on the opposite side to where that is, which is there. So I know I can quite easily now with my curved scissors, join the two together and tidy up anything under his chin. I'm gonna turn his head round and hold him this side. Drop everything down. I've literally got my finger inside that jawline, so it's not distorting anything. So we know this is my first dot. I'm going to come to the outside corner of the eye. I'm going to come just underneath the ear. I'm going to correct that one first. And then from there, like we did on the other ear, fold it, take it back. And I can cut in this direction, but I always find it slightly awkward. So what I tend to do, I tend to hold the ear up so as I can see the outside of the ear and I can see that line. So pop it out. I'm just going to correct the top of that ear. Obviously, be careful if he doesn't jump, because obviously you don't want him to do that. And then bring my line round and join it in to where I was down here. And then again, on this side, I have my circle. So once I've done that, I want to go to the top of his head. So the easiest way to do this, where we've already got a short at the back, I'm going to put my comb in and I'm going to create one line all the way through the centre. By picking up the hair and use my blenders over the top and soften it, Work forward over the top and keep softening it all the way through to the visor. Then I take one line across the top of the ear and lift it up here. Because what I don't want to do, on dogs like Shih Tzus and things like that, turn around, squirt. On dogs like Shih Tzus and things like that, if I actually use the comb attachment and went over the top of his head, I'll actually make an indentation here and here. So when we've got these ears that stick up, we don't want to make that indentation. We want to join, really, this area to this area. But obviously, this dog's going to be much shorter. So I'm going to show you how I blend that in. So continue across the top of his ear and try and pick up everything that you've got there. Literally there. Come across. Work right forward. Come across. Work right forward and come across. All the way across. Put your head out of square. That's it, boy. Okay, same on this side. So I'm picking up the hair behind the ear and I'm working forward and trying to blend this area. Are you finding that ticklish? What are you doing? You put your head up. Okay, once I've done that, do you want to just hold on to him for one second? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to grab some natural control hairspray. And what I'm going to do, I literally cover his eyes and put a spray at the side. Come here, squirt. 
and a straw at the side. Now, if he doesn't like it, no, 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 come here. I'm just gonna loosen back up again so I know it's safe. Put it in there. Oh. Sit down, sit, sit. Good lad, good lad. If he doesn't like it being sprayed, spray it into your comb. And then you find it's easier to lift this up. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create a circle. And that circle, the center of that circle will be here. So with my curved blenders, I'm going to soften all of that line in. If you can hopefully see the circle, if I lift his ears forward, I just want the tips of his ears sticking out of my circle. So I can see here all the hair that needs to come off. Now what you need to do as well is to make sure that if you don't, some of these coats mark very, very easily. So what you want to do is make sure you follow the way the coat grows. If you follow the way the coat grows, you won't mark it. Again, tease it up. And this hairspray is really easy because it does, um, good boy, good boy. It does come off really easy and within no time, it'll just, um, as soon as you're shaking a few times, it'll come off. Lift it up. But it really does help just lifting up the hair. Again, keep coming round and blend. And remember what I said to you about following the way the coat grows? Good boy. Lift his ear. Lift his ear and blend. Good boy. Again, the back of his ear. Bring that out. And again, a little bit of that hairspray would be really great because you could really get into it. Again, soften it and follow the way the coat grows. Okay, come to the other side and do just exactly the same. So what I'm trying to do is, in between his eyes is the centre of my circle. I'm trying to go around and make sure that there's equal all the way around. And tease up the hair on his head, because I can see that. And follow the way the coat grows. Grab his ear, tidy up this line. So I keep meaning to do more videos for my YouTube, but every day I think it's a form I've got to look like a mess. But today I thought, do you know what? I look like a mess, but hey, let's just get on and do some heads. So again, soften out this area. I've got that ear in my hands. And by lifting that up, I can now get to that. So I'm not gonna catch the ear anywhere. Good boy, good boy. Around the back of his ear, I'm really softening that off. And by following the way the coat grows, it just means that I'm leaving it pretty soft um, and I'm not marking it. Okay, let's look how that's looking. And it really is just a very short um can head westy head round head anything with tipped ears and a lot of times these dogs the owners want them really really short um and then all of a sudden you've got a much bigger head so um it's just a nice way of softening in that head so that it goes with um the body shape and it's not going to all of a sudden go really crazy and everywhere's still short remember behind the ears you want to blend in the line that I groomed there, we want to blend that in. Come here, squat. It looks very natural. And the back of this ear, bring it forward, soften it together. Okay. Check out my lines. Hold his head up. And I'm just checking that this side is exactly the same as this side. I can just correct that. And always use your comb. Remember your comb is your best friend. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So a very short, westy, can 
Head. Head over. Good boy, Alfie.